All right, folks, continuing on my series of not just Victrix or Warlord, uh, this is a series that highlights some of the lesser known manufacturers for ancients up to medievals um, that typically are of a uh, more realistic scaling and uh, just have really, really high quality, fine miniatures, a lot of times um, that go off the beaten path for uh, what types of people uh, that they uh, cover. So this next one is from Footsore Miniatures from their range of mortal gods. And uh, I use him as a thespian uh, Greek leader. Um, and I love this little mini. Um, he comes with a little, little sword. Um, he's got the uh, cutout uh, Boeotian style shield uh, that would be typical of a thespian of perhaps an earlier heroic time period. Um, but I really, I like him to visually stand out from his peers. So even if it's a little anachronistic, I, I love having that shield available. It's especially anachronistic uh, considering he's not even uh, uh, wielding a spear. Um, and he's got this this nice uh, cape that just hangs right off him. It's got a higher uh, crest on his horsehair, probably from an earlier, more archaic period of Greek history. Uh, but again, I just think it just adds so much character. And I really love fielding him next to my mortal uh, hoplites. Uh, and in the future, I'll be fielding him next to my Victrix hoplites, which these guys mix with pretty well, although they're a little finer proportion, kind of like uh, Agama uh, or um, Relic. You know, and uh, if I can just really quickly show him off against a similarly posed Agama model, don't they look perfect together? Uh, maybe partially because they've got the same color scheme, but forget that for a moment. Um, just really great trends in sculpting I'm seeing from these, these companies. Okay, back to Footsore. Get out of here, Agama. All right, so we've got the moon, um, which is a piece of iconography from uh, uh, Thespians. Um, the Thespians would have been allied with Thebes uh, quite often. I think they sided with the I, I think they started with the Persians um, when Thebes did as well, um, like with Plataea, um, but then would have sided with the, the Greeks um, later on. Think of like uh, Thermopylae. Um, so not much more to say about this, this model other than this hand joint. Um, the hand comes separate and it is um, quite spindly. The, the only thing I would say negative about this range in general, and I've seen it with the other models I, I ordered from this range as well, is they tend to have their hands and weapons separate and it is hard to get a clear joint there. Probably requires green stuff and or drilling. Um, if you are like me and try to skip through a lot of these stages as quick as you can, you're not gonna love that. Um, I think it's worth taking your time to do it right because I've had to repair him twice now. That said, it's been easy repairs, and as you've seen from my previous videos, I don't mind models breaking so long as I can glue them back next time I get the chance. Um, before I move on from Footsore, I'll show one more model. This is a guy from, uh, you might recognize him. He's from their Gangs of Rome uh, a series, but it's really meant to be the orator from HBO's uh, Rome series. Now he's reading pop-up video for VH1 up there. I really should have had him reading something with HBO written at the top. That would have been a nice little, nice little nod. Um, but uh, this was just a quick figure I put in that I use as just whenever I need a random hero or a messenger or something like that for a scenario, this is the guy. Now I will show off some of my other uh, models um, from Footsore once I get um, a little further along in my saga projects and I complete some more of my tomahawks, and, uh, muskets and tomahawks models. Um, I have a nice pile of metal sitting there waiting for paint that I'm going to get to uh, once I heal up in a few more weeks and I'm really excited for that. All right, well, thank you. Uh, I'll talk to you all soon.